When Jesus and his friends had finished their goodbye meal, they went to a garden to pray. That's where Jesus' enemies found him. The men had torches and clubs and sticks. They were very frightening. And right in front was Judas, who had been one of Jesus' friends. Judas crept up to Jesus and kissed him on the cheek. This is the man you want, said Judas. Arrest him. Jesus looked very sad. Jesus' friends were scared. Most of them ran away, but not Peter. He pulled out a sword and started swinging it about. Put your sword away, said Jesus. This is not the time for fighting. I have to go with them. God wants me to. So the men grabbed Jesus and dragged him before the religious leaders, the ones who were jealous of him. His trial took all night. He says he will destroy our temple, said one man. He says he is a king, said another. He's a troublemaker, said one and all. None of this was true, of course. But it didn't matter. Because the leaders had already made up their minds. Jesus was different from them. Jesus wouldn't do what they said. So Jesus would have to die. They beat Jesus. They hit him hard. Then they took away his clothes, put an old robe round his shoulders, and jammed a crown made of thorns on his head. And while the blood ran down his forehead, they called him names and made fun of him. So, oh, you think you're a king, they laughed. Well, look at you now. Jesus never said a word. His body hurt, his heart was breaking, but he never said a word. They took a cross next, made of heavy wood, and they laid it on his back. Move along, they shouted, and they led him through the city. Some people cried when they saw him. Others cheered, but all of them followed as he loved that cross through the city and up a nearby hill. When they got to the top, they laid Jesus on the cross and nailed him to it. It hurt so much. Then they raised the cross so that everyone could see, and they left him there to die. A thief hanging next to him was afraid, but Jesus talked to him and helped him feel better. Jesus' mother was there too, standing in the crowd. So Jesus called to one of his friends, Take care of her for me, will you, John? She's your mother now. But most of the faces in the crowd were not so kind. You saved other people, someone laughed. So why can't you save yourself? Jesus knew why. It wasn't because his enemies had won. It was because God wanted him there to take away all the bad things anyone had ever done. Soon the sky grew dark and the earth shook. It was as if God's own heart was breaking. And then it happened. It's done, Jesus whispered. And in the sadness and in the dark, he died.